Well, I'm back, one way or another. Ooh, that is a full inventory of crap, and I don't even know what to do with most of it. His problem... His problem... His problem... Does anyone actually have money around here? You. Armorer. Do I have armor left over anymore? The boots. Hello, friend. How are you doing today? Do you like me? What if I tried to make you like me more? Oh yeah, what if I like? Actually, let's not try to... Let's maybe avoid bribing him after that, because they might not double up very well. Let's upgrade the things I actually use. There we go. And yeah, I'm using these all the time too. There we go, my basic equipment. Those are all random weapons, basically. Um... Barter. Howdy. Got a few things to try to get rid of right now. Heavy armor. Heavy. Can I make you bigger? Ah, oh, yeah. A little bit. There we go. Easier to navigate now. Got these tubes still, you don't want these, right? Yeah. Do you like weapons at all? This mace? You do buy maces, huh? Okay. Dwarven mace and dwarven shorts. So there's a short blade, I could use that. But a mace, not really in my repertoire. See, let's get it down to just short blades, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's already happened. Kwarama... Kwarama Cuddle, why is that in my inventory? Oh, is that a... It's probably a mushroom. Not into diamonds. Okay. It's probably all I can get with you. Let's go for like 420. Get it, huh? Really? There we go. Just first priority. I'm listening. Ooh. Uh, could do more. I'm gonna go finish the quest first. Go turn it in. But I just wanted to have my inventory emptied out a bit because I was going to not have any more space left. Which is a bit of a problem. Howdy, folks. Excuse me. Why Bye. Me? Why do you disturb me, guy who has run far away before I can even finish this sentence? You are here specifically... ...hostile How to me. I oh, that pipe. Uh, you're- yeah, you blinked. Awkward. Uh, orders. Get the information about the Neverine secret cult and the six ho oh. Right. He's in the Fighters Guild. Forgot where I was in that process. Awkward. <laughs> Listen, it was a long thing. Ooh. Oh. Crap. That's still a thing. Oh god, I'm like close to overstacking. Which I think is bad, because I think the multipliers that affect your stats are affected by resting. So I should actually rest. I mean, sorry, I mean, I, I think... I think if you go too long without resting, it affects the multipliers negatively, basically. Until healed. You've ascended to level 6. Hooray! Huzzah! So I can put a 3 times multiplier on strength and speed, 2 times on intelligence, endurance, personality. D speed? No agility this time. Let's do strength, because it affects my general attacking, sure. And personality? Try to help that out? I'm trying to get there. I kind of figured that was what was happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get. 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 Get out of here. Go. Go. You right? You make this too easy. Are you attacking me right now? No, I'm not attacking you. Are you healing me? We good? Are we in combat right now? Ow, shit. Oh. I don't want you to be mad at me. I guess I'll have to die. Or load. Well, that's annoying. That is genuinely annoying. They didn't have to handle it that way. Where am I now? Ah, crap. 
Come on then, say something. So I, I guess once I killed him, I must have just barely swung to the side a little bit and hit him. But like he, it's really, it's really awkward how he just stands there and awkwardly stares at me as I die, as I die in front of him, with like no reaction. Like I'm fighting a guy in his house and he's like, I'm going to stare at you, blink faced. And then one spare attack, I guess, must have grazed him. And then he's like, I'm going to murder you now. I'm gonna save closer just in case now, so I don't have to do that walk again. How can I help? You? Howdy. Try resting again. Oops. No, I'm trying to do it until healed. There we go. So once again, so it's strength, speed, personality. And I made it all the way through the night and I'm fully healed, so that means I did not get attacked tonight. I don't want to make him hostile to me. I think we need him for the story. So I'm trying to avoid that as best I can. Alright, off to the Fighter's Guild. Let's see. Yeah, the save was after I... It's a good thing I saved. It felt repetitive. Of my... It felt overdoing it. It felt... I don't know what to call it. It felt like too much for me to save after that doing that vendor, but clearly it helped. I always get stuck on this little nub on the end. Or my character won't move anymore. It was clearly worth saving in that moment because uh, Go ahead. that would have been I would have had to redo all those vendor stuff again. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? Howdy. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? <laughs> Everyone wants to talk to me all the time. Go Give ahead. Me. It's Jesus Christ! <laughs> Simultaneous greeting. You're gonna give me social anxieties. Hi. Favor. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Just let me take this Dwemar puzzle box and then I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the Sixth House and about the ne the Nerevarine. By the way, the inscriptions in the box seem to be the directions for setting a Dwemar key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you delivered your report to Caius, come back and maybe I'll have a key. You can take back to Arctand. I already have a key. Oh well. That's just re-explaining it. Okay. Let's see. Alright. So do I ask you about the sixth house now? House Dagoth is the sixth house. The lost sixth house. In the first age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius, and I recommend some Sixth House references he should read. Okay. The other one thing was the Nerevine. The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerevar will unite the Dunmar against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elf and Elven nation. Nerevar is a legendary hero and saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy and persecutes heretics who believe in the Nerevine. The, the Nerevarine. Tell Caius that Sharn Gra Musgob would be better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions. House Dagoth was the sixth and sev of the seven Dunmer Great Houses. Nothing remains of the sixth house. Its members were all slain and or adopted into other great houses following their treason in the War of the First Council. Their clanstead was called Kogurun. Okay, House Dagoth. Sure. Other details? Sixth House references? Here's a list of cheap books. All of them will get, will, uh, will tell you something about the Sixth House and how it ended. The War of the First Council, Saint Nerevar, Nerevar Moon and Star, and the Real Nerevar. Try the bookseller Dorisa Darvel over in the commercial district. You'll have at least some of these titles. Okay. So the update here. I just need to go back to Caius, and it looks like he'll want to talk to me again afterwards. So just in case I thought I was done with this exact back and forth pattern, uh, get get used to it. I'm and gonna do this a few more away. times. Nothing new there. Might do more thieves guild soon. We'll see. Uh, uh well, let's maybe try a few main missions first. I don't know how far I should go before I should expect to to run to a, a roadblock. Are we back up to seven out of ten. Yep, that's the same acrobats point I got right before I was murdered. By my friend. Supposed. Supposed.
supposed friend? Maybe not so friendly. <laughs> you can rapid jump so fast when you're going upstairs. Quick save. Do you want something from me? Nope, but I got something for you. These notes are from Hesfat Antibolus. Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. It's, no, no, no big deal. It's just the most grueling thing that's ever happened in this game so far. I'll look them over in more detail later, but now I have some new orders for you. I've glanced at Hesfat Antibolus' notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the, Nerev the Never Nerevarine cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. That's right next to the Balmora's Fighters Guild. Get Sharn Gramuzgop to tell you what she knows about the Nerevarine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks and report back when she's given you the information. Okay, so what's going on here is I'm going to... He's basically introducing me to the Thieves Guild, I mean the, uh, the Mages Guild and the, uh, the Fighters Guild back to back. So I guess, huh, that's interesting. Because the main, the first thing he was like, it was like, hey, don't do any main missions. Just go to the Thieves and Mages Guild or some other place and find quests and just go side quest for a bit, come back later. And then, like, the first thing that happened, uh, after that is, uh, he sends me to those places in both of the main missions. It, uh, so I was gonna find it regardless. Almost would have made sense to just send me there first, although the, although that first ahead. Fighters Guild mission they just sent me on was an ordeal. So I guess that those fights were probably would have been harder, a lot harder, not too Do long ago. Well, so when this first game when the, when this game first you. started, I could not hit a rat for like five minutes straight, <laughs> and so obviously we progressed for a while there. Let's see, you already gave me the Dwemer puzzle box, don't you remember? Uh oh. Yes, I'd forgotten. Here's a Dwemer key. Made according to the instructions I found in the puzzle box he brought me. I have no idea what it's for, but if you take it back to our King Thestad, maybe you'll find the locket opens. That's all we get to go on? Okay. So he just gave me a Dwemer key. Didn't I already have one? Ancient Dwemer door key. I have so many lockpick items here. I love these slave keys sitting around. The lockpicks are, lock are all spread out because they're all different durabilities and I'm not using them in the correct order to make them wear out into, in the right order. I already had a Dwemer key, right? Key to lower Arkthod. Okay. Interesting. I think I had this key last time? So this one that says it's specifically for the lower part of the area. Like, that's new. I think, I think that's the one he just gave me. I think. So we can go even deeper in there if we want to, if we want to keep dungeon delving. I think I'd prefer story stuff for a bit. I don't, th ahead, I don't think what he just gave me is technically even a quest so much as just like, hey, here's a key. Maybe something else will send me down there sometime. Yes, so we're Outlander. We are here to meet... Um... Sean Gramozga. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the orc. Any updates here? Nope. Let's go meet our orc friend. Not our friend. Someone I've barely met. You? No, you're not an orc. You. No. No interruptions. How many times... Oh. You're one of Caius's associates. That is a different matter. Guys and I have a very satisfactory arrangement, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. If you will complete a little errand for me. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Levul Andrano. You'll find it in Andrano Ancestral Tomb. I think I've seen that. I think I've actually found that place before. But take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some peculiar uh, primitive prejudices, uh, prejudices against necromancy and take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. Whoops. I'm pretty sure they've attacked me already in the past. Andrano. He was no one special. A journeyman enchanter. There may be many skulls in Andrano tomb, but you'll have no problem recognizing Levil Levule's skull from the ritual markings. The tomb? The tomb is south of Pelagade, just off the road. Just before you reach the fork, where the road goes southwest towards Sedanin and southeast to Vivek, 
You may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword. Give me fire blade. And make these, uh... And maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Oh, wow. It's a good thing I asked the question then. Scroll of Vitality and Taldem Scorcher. Necromancy. In the Empire, necromancy is a legitimate discipline. The body and spirit are protected prop uh, property and may not be used without permission of the owner. But in Morrowind, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. That's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer summoned their own dead to guard tombs and defend the family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition, that's all. Primitive. That's judgy is what that is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to a place... South of Pelagade, just off the road. May Maybe... battle show only victory, friend. Maybe it's not the one I had in mind. The Pelagade. Caldera. Aldruin. Have I been to yeah, I've been to Pelagade, yeah. Thedanin. Huh. Oh, Pelagade's the place we went to relatively recently when I went back to Thedanin. Okay. I think it was the Bal- was it Balmora where I went to go to the mines? That had the one- the one guy that had to be taken out, I believe, that were the slave- Um, crap. I've got some similar locations that, to think about now. I want to say it was by Balmora where I went south near the river, and there was that one tomb that- yeah, it's like right over here, I think. It's right in the zone we're in right now where I think there's a- there's a tomb I visited and I ran away from. But, uh, I think they're wanting to go here instead. Okay, sure. Well, I need to deal with a lot of inventory space stuff, so let's, uh... Barter? Let's see, can I... Uh, oops. Oh, right. I tried to escape out of conversation with the escape button. It doesn't work that way. Admire? Oh. Alright. What if I bribe you? Yay, that makes, be that makes it better, right? <laughs> Just trying to practice my skills here. Do you take coins? You don't buy that item. Okay. How about this stuff? The ectoplasm. And gems? They only have 200 gold. Can I take all of your gold? About? Really? Dang. Not, want, not interested in any... Any budging with the bartering. Okay, that's fine. So I'm up above five grand, slowly eating our way through our backlog of inventory space. One of the main things I want to sell off is, yeah, I want to sell off some gems. I need, I need to find a jeweler or somebody that takes obscure, just obscure items. Sell off this tube while I'm there too, I think. That should be fine. And then we're going to take the strider back to... Satan Neen and find my way to Pelagate from there. I'm slowly getting used to the local stores and which ones are where. There's the outfitter. I think that kind of stuff is like what, what it's like a catch-all, so like you can sell almost everything there, but it's not as good as find I think it might be better to find the specific person that has the thing you want. But then you also have to deal with like whether or not people are running out of space. You know, the pawnbroker, I think that's the one that will, will buy anything actually. These are all just houses over here. We don't really have a, a we don't really have a local jeweler, I don't think. Try the outfitter. Already tried the armor. I think we got what we're gonna get from them. Howdy. Any time now. Let's try it again. Why doesn't anyone love me? Fine. <laughs> Speechcraft went up. Woo! I'm doing this to like try to make a slight net gain in how much money I make off the guy, which of course leads to a massive loss because I lo I end up bribing them. But it's fine, I'm trying to raise my skills. And he's only got so much money to give me in the first place, huh? Rue brush. How about the coins? 
Whoa, those Dwayne Mark Horns are worth way too much. Alright, let's take some out. Take more out. Try to go up a little bit. There we go. You are fresh out of money then, right? Yep. So he's got six grand. And I've still got some coins to sell off. We main to try the pawnbroker. Can we be best buddies? Have I met you yet, even? I don't know if I've been in here yet. That's, that's not a valuable book. Nope. Her book collection is largely crap. Let's try it again. Oh, Jesus. What did I do? How did I make you so mad at me? Jesus. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, they only have 700 gold. Get up, rid of these regular amulets for a bit. And probably get rid of the tubes. Those are pretty heavy too, so that'd be that'd be welcome. Oh, the ebony is pretty pretty heavy too. What about one of them? Because I don't I don't think it's gonna be enough to do both. Oh, I guess maybe both of them then. Yeah. There we go. We still have the diamond and a bunch of jewels, but I'm down to 140. Progress. I might as well just take the silt strider and try to talk to the local vendors there, because I'm about to run out of money in this city. <laughs> That's the- that's one of the weird feelings about this kind of game, where they keep track of everyone's money, is that you eventually you realize, I think I've just drained well, the entire economy of everyone, which is interesting. <laughs> like, there's just no more money in this whole city. It's all mine. Where would you like ah! To go? Let me jump. Yelling in my ear. Where would you like to go? I freaking just took the- do you not notice me getting off the rider? Uh, where did I did I I that? Whoa. Everyone's at the same line at the same time for completely different- that was weird. That was super weird. Hey you, you're supposed to like me, right? Ariel? Yes. We are the best of friends. What if I make you like, like me even more? Eh, I'll just sell stuff to you and then I'll eventually make you like me more. And you're back up to 800 gold. Yay. Let's see if I can get all of it off of you. <laughs> Expensive amulet. Expensive amulet. Special floor of Tamriel. Why am I keeping that around? It's kind of- it's kind of heavy. It's a resource I could use, I suppose, to find what I want. Short sword's kind of valuable, but I'm better off using it as a weapon. Yeah, I'll sell the book. Yay! He's continually liking us just a bit more. Alright, so I am up to having... About seven grand, and I'm not completely overloaded with items right now. Do have a lot of weapons and crap, but I can probably use those during the next areas, and then maybe, maybe even dump them as we go. Yeah, all their values are all crap, right? Yeah, none of them are especially valuable. So if I if I were to use them well, up I and break them, it would not. And yet there I was, alone. My time is precious, naked. so make it quick. I'm sorry, he was monologuing about being naked in the middle of somewhere, and that was just... I had to pause and listen for a bit. Because things were going down. Those guys are really are everywhere, aren't they? Holy crap. Oh. Might need that one. I might as well work towards that mushroom quest and just grab whatever mushrooms I find. Until I have a small stack of each. Uh... But I do pretty much continually lose track of the entire quest. Okay. Reviewing our location. Uh... Necromancy? Try no ancestral tomb, there we go. Tomb is south of Pelagid, just off the road. Right before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sedanin. And southeast towards Vivek. Okay. So, I'm at Sedanin, so from my perspective, instead of being before, it's after. So I need to go towards the Sedanin-Vivek 
fork, then go closer to Pelagiate, and off the road I should find a ruin. I mean, a tomb. Good luck, me. Hello, other mushroom. Just grab them all one by one. Why'd you get short? Oh, that was the that was the looting screen. I'm like, why is my I keep getting thrown up by all the different sizes that my uh, inventory screen takes? Because it has a it has a it remembers. Hello, Draggle Tail. Oh, I can't. It remembers what shape it's in uh, last time, but only for that specific situation in which it was opened last time. So if you open it for a different reason, then it sh takes a different shape. The rat is undone. And so is its corpse. Monstrously and alarmingly. Evic Balmora, Pelagid. Yep. So there should be a fork around here. Probably that one. Let's see. So it should say Sidonine here. This should say Vivek here, hopefully. Yep. Then Pelagid. So before it's before this turn, but from that perspective. So just look off the road for a bit. That's probably the tomb. That's almost certainly the tomb. Let's stop sprinting. Because I need my I need my durabilities. Comberry. Not my durability, my I need my stamina up. Definitely wish stealth was a toggle. Alright, there's a dead guy in this tomb. But like, not the type that's supposed to be in the tomb. It's just like a random body just hanging out. I'll take that. I mean, those are kind of valuable, the clothes. You can keep the armor. You just got pantsed. Shrine of Saint Veloth. Let's get a blessing. Oh. Restoration, indwelling, po cure poison, do disease, blight. Interesting. Let's try indwelling. I don't know what that means. But everything else sounded like not something that's currently useful to me. So we're looking for someone's skull, which is concerning, but sure. What could go wrong? Oh, there's a living skeleton right there. Consider yourself sneaked. Alright, well that's a nightmare. <laughs> he was really nasty looking. I barely got a, a look at him, but he looked really horrible. So I may have made a mistake just now, because they said be careful not to, to disturb the people on side. So maybe they mean don't attack these guys? Ow, by the way. Ooh. Weakness. Oh, so they deal shock damage and they also make you weak to shock. Interesting. Arrows that make you continually weaker. Longbow. I mean, mine's, mine's a steel longbow. I think I'm a little better off. I wish that my portrait didn't get bigger because it messes with the scaling here. Uh, I could leave you... Eh, something to drop when I, my inventory fills up, basically. But for now, I don't know if it will. This could be a, this could be a quick one if I'm just gonna go find a uh, skull real quick. Last time the puzzle box was like right at the beginning, and I dug way too deep. It's a spooky ghost. It's a spooky ghost. Die ghost. Bad ghost. All right. Yeah, if there's just ghosts wandering around, I don't know how likely I was going to be to uh, get through this without disturbing someone. But hey, we're leveling up stuff. I'm already ready to level up again.